Okay, am I just leaving now? Oh no, he's here. How do you figure? I should sneak from the backside. What's going on guys, my name is Frost and welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we are back on Minecraft Bedrock for once again another awesome marketplace map. In today's video we are going to be looking at a horror map known as Antlers. Now this is made by a company known as Norvale, I don't know, I haven't heard of anything that they've made personally, but I'm optimistic and want to see how people have made some really cool horror maps. This map had an awesome trailer, I looked into it. And it looked very good. So I'm very excited to hop into it. Uh, and from the looks of it, the environment's really creepy. And the sign over here saying, Warning, this game contains loud noises and jump scares. Does not excite me. I mean, it does, because I, I, like I like getting scared. But I don't... I, I'm very creeped out by this environment here. But I'm, I'm very excited about taking a look at it. Because, like I said, I like Minecraft horror maps. I want to play more of them. And if you have any... Don't be afraid to suggest them down in the comments below because I want to check them out. But yeah, we are going to carry on and hop into this Minecraft horror map and see how it goes. And hopefully, you know what? Get scared. But before we do that, as always, if you guys are new to my channel and do like the content here on my channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and do enjoy the content here on my channel. Having that being said, ladies and gentlemen, enough chit chat. Let's hop into some more Minecraft horror maps. Antler. I'm actually quite impressed with how these Bedrock uh, developers are making these cool pop-up screens. This is really cool. Oh, I got a flash. That? that didn't sound good. I should go out and check. Oh my word! I got a map, dude. This is looking good. It's got voice acting and what looks to be I work at a convenient mart from the looks of it. How to open PC, right click, mobile, hold. Okay, thank you. We're on PC. We don't play on that 24 frames a second phone. All right, we don't do that no more. Oh, we got the toilets. Open as in open the doors, or is this the it? Oh, it is. We got the sliding doors. Close it. Nice. All right, well, this looks very creepy. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, oh this doesn't look good. Look at those big claw marks. Mm -hmm. I should call the police right away. Quest, find the phone. Find my phone? I, I assume my phone's in here. Okay. Was it in here? Hello? Oh, phone! Hello? 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 Oh, no. No signal. No kidding. I should run to town to call for help. Oh, I don't like doing that. I don't like how I got a flashlight. This is this is not making me excited about this whatsoever. Oh, okay. Dude. It's looking good. What was that? Oh, hell no. No, no. We going to town. We going. We ain't wasting any time. I ain't waiting here. Do you struggle to play your favorite games? Are you stuck using old and weak hardware that can't even play the simplest games? Are you tired of low frame rates at terrible resolutions and don't have the money for a high-end PC or the latest console? Well, fear not, ladies and gentlemen. I have the solution. Allow me to introduce to you Boosteroid. Boosteroid is a subscription-based cloud service that allows you to play all those tasty AAA games without having the need to go out and buy yourself a high-end PC or the latest consoles to play them on. Features include streaming at 1080p, 60 frames a second, unlimited game session times, no ads, and finally, low latency. Mm -mm -mm, can't get much better than that. Now you're probably wondering, how does it work? Well, allow me to tell you. Boosteroid uses smart remote servers that processes your input through the internet and your mobile data. All your inputs are sent over to a data center where the servers then process your game and your inputs and decode it back to the streaming device that you are currently on. 
All you need to do is sign in and create yourself an account, run a speed test using the network test icon. It should be noted that Boosteroid recommends 50 megabytes a second to achieve 1080p at 60 frames a second for the best streaming quality possible. Choose what plan works best for you, pick the game you want to play, and then you're done! There you go, now you can play whatever games you want. If browsers aren't your thing, Boosteroid also supports a number of different devices including Windows 10, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, Android, and even Android TV. Check them out at the link below. A letter and coins. Huh. A letter. Yeah. I should read it. A monster in the woods. Those claw marks on the car. It could be from a bear. But a bear doesn't make that kind of noise. Wait. This was written by the crazy man in the woods. Maybe he knows something. Maybe. Let's read this, actually. I want to see. H.A. Andrews, Forest Street. I am writing this to you because I believe this town is in da great danger. I saw something unusual in the forest. This monster was over 14 feet tall, had sharp claws and large antlers. This monster had uh, unusual growls. If this monster is what I think it is, we are all in great danger. J. Arthur. Well, that sounds awesome. Mm. I shouldn't be going off the trail. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Wolf's let Oh, is this the old man's place? Yo, Hello? knock knock. Anyone here? Homie! What you got here? Well, you were eating some food, but you didn't get to finish. Yo! Old man! Ah, thank God. You have no idea of what will come. This monster is as tall as a tree, with a lipless mouth and jagged teeth. According to legends, it is almost impossible to escape this monster. He is extremely fast. He can sense every movement and pick up your panicked heartbeats from miles away. Once he sees you, he will engage in a scary game. He baits his prey, releases shrieks or growls. Don't be fooled into believing you're safe indoors. This monster can unlock doors and enter homes. You have to promise me one thing, boy. Save us from this monster, no matter what. Please. Well, you know, I I could try. I can do what I can, but unfortunately you said he can unlock and open doors. How come your house isn't invaded? That's my question. Sorry if I'm stealing stuff. Do you have anything I can use? Okay, am I just leaving now? Oh no. He's here. How do you figure? I should sneak from the backside. Where is he? Oh! Yo, old man, he's here! Oh no, I'm going out the back door. Yep, let's go. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Oh, I see the antlers! I don't know where to go. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to keep running. Escape from the monster. I think I'm doing that now, aren't I? Oh, he's fast. And strong. I can't leave this place. I've got to save these people. Who are you, Alan Wake? If only there was a way to defeat this monster. Aha. Uh -huh. The library. They've probably got some information. Find more information about the monster. I have to go back to the library. Thank you. I, I, I didn't need to know that. Search the library. Hello? A book? Aha! The monster in the woods. Well, that was just really convenient. Alright, mo the monster in the woods. Characteristics, weaknesses, how to defeat, how to craft a silver blade. Well, I think that just answered my question now, didn't it?
Characteristics. The monster has glowing eyes, long yellow fangs, terrible claws, and overly long uh, tongue. Uh, sometimes they are described as having sallow yellowish skin. They are hundreds of years old and they also have hibernation during the long cold winters. They must survive. Uh, meaning they must hoard food if it is scarce. Okay. Weaknesses. They are difficult uh, creatures to conquer or even harm. There are a few possibilities to defeat them during the day, but if uh, but it is almost impossible to defeat them at night, since they never sleep at night. Fire, one of the only two, uh, wait, one of the two only known ways to defeat this monster. They are very sensitive to heat. Uh, and silver, the pad of uh, definitions mentions that they can only be wait, they can only scumble or succumb to a few metals who uh, one of them is silver okay how to defeat the monster the trick is to craft the pure silver blade you will need this silver blade to defeat the monster the monster can sense the silver blade miles away be careful how to craft the silver blade the cra uh, to craft the silver blade you will need two silver sh uh, shards and a sword handle to craft the sword handle you need nine sticks uh, when you have made the sword, you need to rub salt on the sword. You will need about 10 grams of salt. Jeez. Well, that's lovely. I'm going to hold on to you, man. Read the book on how to defeat the monster. Okay, I that's did. That's it. I need to gather up the materials. I should search the farms and see if I find anything. Okay, where's the farm? Oh, they're on the other side. Tip the book you found contains information about what materials you need to craft the silver. I get it. I read the book. Okay, this place has to have it. I left the spare key in the shack. In the shack? Where is your shack? Is this it? Oh, that's probably it. Okay. Grab what you need, grab what you need, grab what you need, grab what you need. Hear him outside. Ah! Okay, okay, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm going inside now. I'm not, because I'm stuck. I think he's gone. Got the three sticks. I need six more sticks and one more silver shard. Oh. Stop creeping up on me, homie. I don't appreciate it. All right. I got the weapon. If there was something that could lead him to me. Hmm. What? Find a way to lead the monster to you. Lead him to me? Okay, so I didn't have to fight him. I just needed to get out. The monster can hear sounds from far away. You should find something that can make loud noises. Let me guess. The radio tower. Am I right? All right, at the radio station. Can we use it now? Yes, we can. Thank goodness. Smart. I could tweak the radio, put it on full blast. He'll come. I know it. Yeah, you know that? Search the area. That's how you make noise. Mm. Okay, these aren't it. Uh, I assume I'm gonna have to get on the roof. Let's take the ladder. Generator. Oh, wait, hold on. This is where it's gonna come down to. They're, uh, it's gonna ask me for gas. I got gas. Okay. None of these. Oh, button. 
no. The generator. I need to find fuel. Well, aren't you in luck? Collect 10 fuels. I have 14. Oh. Yeah. Time to go, bro, Ski. Yeah. Yeah, Wombo, bro. You're going to get the PvP master. You can't touch this. Wombo. Look at that. Easy. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm sorry, homie. Oh, that was funny. I like that. Do you really think you are safe in the woods? Why am I not safe in the woods? <laughs> Did I miss something? Think again. Why? Cool plot twist. Come on. Give me a plot twist. Okay, nothing. Awesome. It's just really staticky. Antlers! That's it? Well, that's it! Alright! You know what? Honestly? Not that bad. I mean, I expected a little bit more, but you know what? The fact that it had voice acting, a custom model, and it had movement. You know what? Sure, the boss was a little bit underwhelming. I will say that near the end. A little shame to that one. Sorry there. Uh, what was it? Uh, Norvale. A little bit underwhelming. Would have liked the fight to be a little bit more dramatic. But I liked, I liked the whole concept. You have to go here, do that, gather stuff. Very Slenderman-like, um, objectively, but honestly, not bad. Uh, I liked it, not bad. Uh, yeah, got nothing really to complain about. But guys, that has been Antlers, the Minecraft horror map, marketplace map. You know where you gotta go. If you wanna check out the map, you guys can go to the marketplace store on Bedrock or PlayStation or console or PC, wherever you guys are on. You guys can go check it out on the marketplace and try it out for yourself. I liked it. It was pretty good. Uh, like I said, it could have been a little bit better near the end, but you know what? Say la vie. It was pretty good and really scary, nonetheless. Guys, if you guys have been enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, go and do so so you don't miss out on any of my other content. Having that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay frosty, stay amazing, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.